at 10. Plans to keep the SS Badger running are in jeopardy tonight. The U.S. House passed a Coast Guard funding bill today, but nixed a provision that would allow the Lake Michigan car ferry to stay afloat. The EPA claims the SS Badger is an environmental concern. NBC 26's Heather Burke is live in the newsroom tonight with reaction from both sides. Some are disappointed about today's decision, but believe this is not the end for the historic SS Badger. While opponents say owners of the car ferry had years to find cleaner ways to operate, enough is enough. Activities to do on the Badger. Promoting the and SS Badger has not it. been smooth sailing for Jason Ring. It's, it's just disappointing that uh, people didn't see the Badger as, as important as we do. Ring is the president of the Manitowoc Visitor and Convention Bureau. Congress stripping protection for the Lake Michigan car ferry has Ring concerned about the $14 million it pumps into the economy each year. That's a big number. Um, we can't make that up uh, you know, easily in other ways. It would be like shutting a, a street down that brings traffic into a community. The EPA claims the SS Badger also pumps hundreds of tons of coal ash into the lake every year. Dean Hoger with the Clean Water Action Council is pleased with the decision since he says the vessel did not move forward on the EPA's request to upgrade years ago. It seems to me that they should pay the penalty for not moving forward and, and upgrading and at least. Uh, making an effort to get closer to upgrading there. Still, Congressman Tom Petri hopes the EPA will accept the vessel's pending permit to give them more time to find a cleaner way to set sail. People from all over the country look forward to coming and traveling across Lake Michigan. On a car ferry with a long past and possibly a shorter future. We cannot reach the company who owns the SS Badger for comment. However, last week they told us that they're confident that they will set sail in 2013. We should also find out in a few weeks if the EPA will grant the Badger's permit to continue operating. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Heather Burke, NBC 26.